Good morning. It is the third day of a week on the co-op and I've woken up not particularly hungry. Maybe that's because I've got eight pound a burger sitting right in my gut waiting to come out. No, that's gross. Let's not talk about poop. This is a family fucking channel. No, it's not. No, let's reword that. Let's start again. Welcome to day three of a week on co-op. I am uh, going to have some breakfast. I've uh, suddenly got a nose full of snot. Oh, I just need to stop referencing things that come out of the body. Let's reference things that come into the body instead, because I'm going to have some breakfast. I have <gasps> pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes. They've got the co-op logo on them, so they're okay. And surprisingly, there's no red on there, so I don't feel too bad. So one per pancake is 167 calories. That's not actually too bad. However, I assume the old calories are going to go up when I have some uh, some maple syrup. Actually, it's Canadian maple syrup, grade A, amber rich. Wow. I didn't expect to get this at all. Like, to have a co-op branded maple syrup. So... That's a pleasant surprise. I saw those chocolate chip pancakes and I thought, what am I going to put on those? That's going to moisten them up because I don't want cream on them. That would be weird. So maple syrup. Uh, per tablespoon, however, 40 calories. So, ooh, ooh, I'm going to gain weight this week, aren't I? Right, let's stop faffing, talking about it, talking about bodily fluids and talk about some delicious fluids instead. All right, let's pump those in there. One minute, and uh, to be honest, they smell good already, so I can't wait to try these. Two nice, hot, fluffy pancakes. Now let's do a sexy maple syrup pour. <laughs> Lovely stuff. About 10 million calories on this plate. I need to drop the whole calorie thing, because I'm not that bothered. This is not a weight loss week on. This is just let's try what the co-op has to offer. And by the looks of this, it has some delicious stuff to offer. Oh. Ooh, that is so sweet and pillowy and chocolatey. Slight bitterness with that sugar as well. Mmm. Oh, that chocolate. Really nice. This is so good. So decadent and delicious. Mmm. Happy birthday to me. It's not my birthday, but why can't you wish yourself happy birthday when you've got a good old stack of pancakes? Hello, Basil. Going out for a walk this morning, sniffing the air. Is that nice? Is that fresh air? You haven't had that for years, have you? Because you're an indoor cat. Where are we going? Where are we off to? Yeah, that's daffodils. Don't eat those. Don't eat those. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're going on a mission. We're going on a mission. Past the plant you think pots. Chasing him. <laughs> oh, we're going to go to the bush. Yes, he likes to sniff this bush. Was it ma maple? I think it's something maple. Yeah. He likes it. It's nice. It's a nice bush. <sighs> so windy. Which is making that vent rattle on cue. So annoying. Look at this bloody thing. Just stop. Oh, it has. Marvellous. Well, there. There's the end of that problem. Don't have to worry about it anymore. But on saying that, it has been doing it all morning and it's driving me absolutely potty. And that's not a word I use lightly. Speaking of potty, no, I'm not going to go there, literally, um, but I have been rather full from my breakfast, my delicious, delicious breakfast. I enjoyed that very much. It took me back to the US. I was very happy. I've got a very happy tummy, although now it is a slightly empty happy tummy, so I am thinking that I need to get some lunch. So I'm going to go away from that bloody vent and get something to eat. Cooperatively, 
Of course. Lunch today is going to be nice and simple. With a meal deal, in fact. Starting with an egg and bacon sandwich on fibre-enriched malted bread. Looks pretty good. Like a bit of egg mayo and it's uh, improved only by bacon. And then I couldn't get crisps because there was no bags of co-op crisps as part of the meal deal. So I do have my snack, which is co-op chicken tikka satay with mango chutney dip. Not a lot of mango chutney in there, it's a bit stingy. And then also I found a drink with co-op on there. Here we go. Orange and mango vitamin water. Lovely jubbly. There's my meal deal. Let's see how it tastes. First off, a bite of samaj. Oh, <laughs> Bacon's the dominant flavour there. Hint of egginess. Let us try a saute with mango. Quite like sweet, but delicious. Kind of like me. Bit of a kick in there as well, something like that, it's not funny. And some orange and mango vitamin water. It's okay. <laughs> not a huge fan of mango, but beggars can't be choosers, gotta have the, the co op stuff. Do you want some chicken satay? He does not. Oh, you'll have some of that though. Fine, I know when I'm not wanted. You know, one of the worst things about being an adult is that once your day of working is over, you still have to work. Because you have to do things around the house, like dishes and cooking and cleaning and things that are just getting in the way. Like, remember when you used to get home from school just play N64. Yes, probably show my age there. But whatever, I'm just going to continue swinging this knife around in complete disregard for my own face. But I am getting hungry now. My lunch was very, very nice. I got no complaints with it. It was a sandwich. It was chicken satay. It was a drink. But now I am definitely getting hungry. It's the end of the day. I'm going to do the dishes and then I'm going to think about getting something to eat because my belly be empty and I'm hoping it can be something as nice as yesterday's because those burgers were chef's kiss and I'm really tempted to get more burgers but I'm not going to or am I no I'm not although I really want them dinner this evening is hopefully going to follow the trend of being indulgent and fattening and calorific and stodgy. It is indeed going to be mac and cheese. Or should I be specifically indulgent and creamy vintage cheddar mac and cheese? And it's a part of their irresistible range, which is, in other words, similar to like Tesco's finest range. There isn't enough irresistible products for me to make an entire week on. Um, so I thought I'd lump it in and do the co-op as a whole. So as you can see, Italian, Italian chiffery, <laughs> never heard of that. Italian chiffery pasta, chiffery pasta in a rich creamy vintage cheddar cheese sauce finished with a ciabatta and mozzarella crumb. I can pronounce those words. Right, I'm gonna be having this, lots of red on there. How do we do it? Uh, 20 minutes in told microwave. Lovely stuff. I assume this is going to be nice, at least I hope it is. And I'm going to bulk it out with a bit of garlic bread. Co-op garlic and cheese flatbread with mozzarella and extra mature cheddar cheese. So this, uh, this garlic bread isn't going to be telling fart jokes because it's extra mature. I feel like I should explain that joke. Ha! Right. I'm going to get these in the oven and hopefully enjoy. So my mac and cheese has been in the oven for about 12 minutes. Time for the old garlic and cheese flatbread to go in. Notice how I uh, paid particular attention to the word cheese because whoever made the flatbread didn't pay particular attention to the cheese because there is one, two, three in a very small bit on the entire thing, which um, yeah, I'm quite frankly livid about. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes to get all 
well, not gooey and cheesy, that's for sure. And there we go, one cooked mac and cheese with a garlic bread and cheese. Well, what cheese there was anyway, which has kind of gone to nothing almost. Right, let's try. This is very, very creamy and very, very gooey and oozy. It's all gonna fall on the floor and I'm gonna get yelled at again. Oh yeah. Mmm. There are tons of depth in that cheese sauce. Really, really good. And that cheesy top with the crunch and look at the state of it. Wow. Oh my God. That is good. You are... What have you got for dinner, Jack Potato? Yeah. Why? Mac and cheese is my favourite. Oh, I have to have this. Okay. Oh, that's good, mm. isn't it? Very really, creamy. Really, really nice. And uh, plenty of cheese sauce to be dipping the old garlic bread in. Soft, pillowy, very garlicky. Mm. Bready, obviously. <laughs> oh, this mac and cheese, though. Best thing so far. Oh, yeah. I have to say that dinner was so good. There was so much flavour and cheese and sauce. It was just, oh, oh, my mouth is salivating just thinking about it. It was probably one of the best mac and cheeses I've had in a week on easily. It was so good. Go out and get a co-op irresistible mac and cheese right now hashtag not spawn but it was just so good and lovely and delicious and all these good words that you could use to describe food and the garlic bread was fine it wasn't very cheesy but it was nice and now i'm gonna have some biscuits biscuits for dessert in fact milk chocolate malted milks i haven't had a malted milk since i were knee high to a grasshopper, which is very young because grasshoppers are very small. So here we go, here's one chocolate biquet with a animal of some sort. Leave your suggestions as to whatever the hell that is in the comments. I've not had a malted milk for so long, I've already said that. Why haven't I? <laughs> really good. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this is a good week on Basil. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, Ian interested. He's asleep, which I'm going to go and do shortly as well because I am full of stodge and chocolate biscuits and bread, pasta, cheese very happy very very happy today has been another really good day on this week on this week on the co-op so it started with pancakes and maple syrup which were delicious and sweet and uh, yes pillowy soft and then my lunch was a sandwich which was you know it's a sandwich can't really complain it was good um, but then dinner Ooh, I'm going to be thinking about my dinner for a long, long time. So gooey, so cheesy, so tasty. Oh, it was so nice. I am really, really happy with that mac and cheese. And the bread was alright. A little bit disappointed with the lack of cheese on there. But you know what? The mac and cheese made up for it. And then some. It was so good. Have I mentioned it was really good? Yeah, that is easily the nicest thing I've had so far this week and I've had some nice things this is um yeah it's, I, it always makes me a little bit nervous when a week on goes well because it makes me think you know all this building up is gonna come crashing down to some sort of disappointment along the way but we're three days in don't think I've had a bad meal so far it's uh yeah really going quite well tomorrow is gonna be the the halfway point of this week on and we will see if that trajectory continues but so far so great got no real complaints with co-op's own food so far i'm not imagining for one moment it's going to be a clean sweep 
but I'm hoping there is. I'm hoping to be proved wrong. But if you want to find out how this week on is going to continue, then please do support the show on Patreon. The link's in the description. It helps to contribute to making these week ons uh, and keep the channel alive. Or if you just want to watch as and when the videos hit the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video, follow me on social media. All the links are in the old description. But thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to go and dream about cheese. And certainly not the cheese that was on that garlic bread, because what cheese? <laughs>